What's up everybody? Justin here about to do my reaction to the Mean Gene Oakland tribute. <sighs> mean Gene was uh, one of a kind. I'm still really sad about it. His good friend, the immortal Hawk Hogan, will be doing this tribute to Mean Gene. As we honor the life. Everybody should stand. Moment of silence. You should get a 10 bell salute. You should get an awesome video package. I'm going to pay my respects. Thank you. This theme music just makes me think of the 80s and when Mean Gene is interviewing Hogan. For everybody that thinks Hogan shouldn't be on TV, shouldn't be here, it's not about you and your hatred for the man Hawk Hogan or for Terry Bollea. I forgave Hogan. You don't have to, but I decided to forgive him. I don't believe Hogan hates black people. I don't believe that. He's a racist. I believe Hogan really cared about Mean Gene, and he is the perfect guy to do a tribute. Mean Gene and Hawk Hogan are synonymous. They went together in the 80s in the WWF. They helped the WWF a lot. Hogan put them on his back, but Mean Gene really helped too. Fans are... Some of them, a lot of them, embracing Channing Hogan. Let me tell you something, brother. Gotta do a let me tell you something, me, Gene. Hogan you know something, guys? took his glasses off. I came out here wide open tonight in character because that's exactly the way me and Gene would have wanted it. I want to let all you guys know, Mean Gene loved entertaining, and he loved every entertaining everybody here in the WWE universe. Me, man, Mean he, Gene, Gene loved entertaining more than anything that he did. Mean Gene was super entertaining. Some of the greatest moments right now. The guy was super entertaining, super funny. Here's a tribute video to Mean Gene. WrestleMania 1. WrestleMania 1, he sang the national anthem. Mean Gene Overland. Right now I'm talking to you. Oh, I might cry. I might get tears in my eyes. Right now I'm trying to show you. And we're gonna be all Mean Gene is part of... Mean Gene was part of the first nine WrestleManias. He was part of all of them. WrestleMania 1 to WrestleMania 9. Lay down on my back and let someone cover me. I thank you very much. You've already given me my haircut. Gene, I want you to look me right square in the eye. Which one? I'm going to be an 
nice guy. I'm not going to insult you. Daddy. <laughs> you know something mean, G. You know something mean, G. Mean, G. Mean, G. Mean, G. They'll be you up. Halfway around the lake. Come on, Gino. Oh. Hulkamania never would have gotten as big as it did without me, Gino. <laughs> It's just a real living legend. Is that my love? It's Gina Mania. In those no way. Jungle Gene Okerlund in the garden of Frank Bodie. Guys, are you sure we're in the right place? Male or female? Um, I didn't check. Oh, neither did I. They're half monkey and half weasel. Either. Uh, Wait a minute, Peter. Uh, What's going on here? Uh, get out of here. <laughs> we're going to get along great. Great we're moment. God, this is are getting me sad. On? It's my childhood. Flashing in front of me. Me and Gene, Bobby Heenan, together, were magic. Me and Gene, Ric Flair, me and Gene, Macho Man, me and Gene, Hogan, were magic. Guys in the back room like to play games out of here. I'm getting dizzy. to watch. Any guys out there, don't be ashamed to cry if you broke down and cried. I can truly speak for the whole WWE universe, all the WWE superstars, anybody that's ever watched the WWE, me and Gene, we love you, my brother. You know, guys, I, I, I got to tell you, being out here in the ring without me and Gene, it's not, you know, he's not here, but he is right here. He's right here, man. I love you, Mean Gene. I miss you. Man, this is sad. One more time. You, you got the Hulkamaniac shirt on, brother. What do you want me to do? You got to say one more time. 
Well, let me tell you something, Mean Gene. I know exactly what you're doing, brother. You're up there, and all the angels are singing Tootie Fruity on top of those big white clouds. I know that you're putting the greatest tag match there together, brother. The tag match between the Macho Man, ooh yeah, Randy Savage, and the Ultimate Warrior versus Roddy Roddy Piper and Mr. Perfect. And I also know that Andre the Giant is a special referee, brother. And I also know you're probably breaking up a fight between your close personal friends, Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby the Brain Heenan. And you know something, Mean Gene? I heard those weights clanging and banging up there at the pearly gates. And brother, you don't have to get so slow up. You've only got a choice between Lula and May Young, brother. So, Mean Gene, I guess there's just one question left to ask all the maniacs up there, brother. What you gonna do when me, Gene, or Mania runs wild on you, brother? Mean Gene, I just want to say as a fan, thank you for everything you did for wrestling. AWA, you were there when they were at their best, in my opinion, in the 70s and early 80s. You were in WWF when they were at their best in the 80s, in late 80s, into the early 90s. And you were, you went to WCW and you were at WCW when they became number one. And when they were at their best, everywhere you went, me, Gene, that company was number one. You could be, man, you could be missed. There is never, ever going to be another me, Gene, Okerlund ever in wrestling. The guy was so good. The guy was a class act. Super professional. Rest in peace, Mean Gene. 